time for this. Yes, it's time for Mark Meets, in which I speak to the biggest names in the world of politics, sport, showbiz and beyond. Tonight, in a world exclusive, I'm delighted to be joined by the most famous man in the world and arguably the most important, all the way from Lapland, Father Christmas. Welcome to GB News. Thank you, Mark. Privilege to meet you. I, I was going to ask how you got here. Not a taxi, I would have thought. Not, not a Boris bike. How did you get here? Well, I came in the way I normally do, which is the reindeer came into RAF Benson. Brilliant. And I had a cab to run me from Benson in because they get very shy. And this time of night, there are still people around. So they're up at Benson. And does the uh, taxi driver, does he charge you? Or does he know that when you're Father Christmas, that's got to be a freebie, hasn't it? <laughs> no, I pay my way. Isn't that something? Um, can I ask you, because it's a very modern building here at GB News, it's a world-class 21st century studio, but we do have a chimney. Was it big enough? <laughs> it's all right. I didn't even need to use the chimney. I love not using a chimney, as you can imagine. I mean, you're built for a chimney better than I am. Uh, and so when I can come in through a door, yes, please. I even ask parents sometimes when I see them with their children, do you think I could use the magic key, even though I know they've got a chimney? Isn't that wonderful? I'm sure you do the odd chimney for old time's sake, do you? Yeah, well, I, I maintain a, a certain image and I do my gymnastics to try and keep <laughs> chimney fit. Yeah. Can I ask you lots of uh, really important questions that we need to sort out? First of all, um, do you actually like to have mince pies on arrival? Uh, should mum and dad and the kids, should they leave out a, a little drop of scotch? Uh, what is your preferred reward? What is the little treat they should leave you? Well, my absolute favourite is a mince pie mm. or a biscuit. But I really like it with milk. And my favourite is chocolate flavoured milk. I love a See, chocolate so milk. See, so one or two mince pies and some chocolate <gasps> milk. Not two. Do you know how many <laughs> houses I have to go to? Yeah, your <laughs> chimney days will be behind you. They would. Um, it's been a really hard couple of years. Uh, so many people, most people have, have suffered as a result of the pandemic. How has it affected Father Christmas? Not very much. Um, one of the few effects is that I do love to go and visit children who've been really good and really kind at home in the run-up to Christmas while the elves are taking care of all the, the nitty-gritty work. Yeah. And for a little while, I couldn't actually go into the homes to visit them and I had to just do doorstep visits. Oh, right. Or even visits through Zoom. Is it Zoom you call yeah, it? Yeah, Zoom. On, that's yeah. right. So Father Christmas has done Zoom. Yes, yes. Right. Teams, meetings, that sort of thing. Zoom I've done. Zoom you've done. Anything well, of course else. you Zoom, because you've got the sleigh, haven't you? You're well, I Zoom around, <laughs> yes. And, and so well, that, I remember that from the last couple of years, that you'd leave stuff at the door and then, um, and then the family, parents could, could bring it in. And, of yeah. course, that was fantastic. But you basically, like lots of people, you kept going during the pandemic, basically. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. children carry on being kind, carry on being good. Yeah. We can't ignore them and not give them a, a Christmas reward. Now, I would never drag you into the world of politics. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, although I would suspect you're a Liberal Democrat, but we won't speculate. Have Keir Starmer and Rishi Sunak been good boys this year? They will be getting a visit. Good. Okay. <laughs> and we shall say more than that. No more than that, right? <laughs> and, and tell me this, let's talk about your setup uh, in Lapland. First of all, you know we've got industrial action here in the UK. Have the elves gone on strike? No, no, my elves have never struck. Good. They, they're happy. I think basically we're good employers, and the elves have formed guilds. So, uh, you know, the elves and I, we're, we're working together. It's not a case of you can't have anything, I've got to have it all. We, we just work together. Sounds a bit like the John Lewis partnership. Everyone's invested. A in bit like that. Yeah. yeah. Nicely done. Um, how is Rudolf? Thank you for asking. I didn't know word had leaked out. He hasn't been at all well. He had reindeer flu, which is like man flu. You know how bad man flu is? Yes. Of well, reindeer flu is even worse. But now his nose is right back to red and glowing. So everything is well. That's good. So he's, uh, he's pulling that sleigh. And the other, the other reindeer, they're not being cruel to him anymore. As no, they're... no, that, that was mainly Olive. Yeah. You know, Olive, the other reindeer, wouldn't she's, let him play. She's a bit feisty, isn't she? Well... Yes. <laughs> but that's why we love her too. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, listen, this, this could be a little awkward, but I, I've heard rumours that you're going to replace Rudolph with a Tesla. Is that true? No. 
That's nonsense. There's nothing like a reindeer for bringing the sleigh. I mean, a Tesla... Well, I think as things are, we'd have to keep recharging and it hasn't got the speed that the reindeer have. I imagine trying to get all around the world in one night, in any car. It just wouldn't work. Your workshop is something to behold. How are you coping with those energy bills? Because you've got machines, you've mm-hmm. got lighting. Of course, the elves yeah. are busy at work as well. I mean, you, your, your electricity bill must be through the roof. No, we, we have our own system developed by elf engineers. And I, th- I think you call it, is it geothermal? Because it's so much hotter down below than our frozen up top that we, we generate our own power, our own heat, our own you know, hot water and everything without having to be on a grid. Because imagine if the poor electric companies were trying to lay a grid out to the North Pole. It just wouldn't work. No, for sure. Well, I'm glad to hear that Father Christmas is eco-friendly. Um, another tough question for you to answer, mm-hmm. and I'll be eyeballing you for this one. Mm-hmm. Is that beard real? Why on earth would, why on earth would anyone put a beard that's not real? That would be ridiculous. Of course it's real. You've just given it a tug. We have, we have definitive proof. And uh, look, what motivates you, what drives you every year? Because you have been delivering gifts to children and good people year in, year out. Uh, will there come a time when you hang up your sleigh, when you rest your weary bones and you retire? I think if it ever came around that there were no good children, no good grown-ups, then that might be. But as you say, there are always good people and I always want to give them the gift. In fact, look. I have a little present for you because you've been a good person and that's for you. I don't, I'm not going to risk moving too far forward because I don't know how well I am set on this stool. I yes, can easily actually, fall off. Next Christmas, uh, we'd like some new furniture, please, at BB News. <laughs> and a couple of microphones if you've got them spare. Well, keep being good. <laughs> we'll see can what I, we can, can do. I just say that this is the most profound honour to receive a gift? And the book is Santa and the Gingerbread Man. Is this your book? I, yes, yes, I wrote that book. I haven't actually, obviously, put my own name on it, but yes, I had. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Uh, we do a little close-up of that. What a charming, charming book. Can Santa Claus help the gingerbread man stay safe from everyone who wants to eat him? It might need a miracle, but miracles can happen. Father Christmas, they say you should never meet your heroes. Well, that's nonsense. It's been an absolute thrill. Um, do you have a message for the little boys and the little girls out there? Because I know that a few of them have stayed up for this interview. What would you, or there'll be a few watching back tomorrow. What would you like to say to the boys and girls um, about, about what they should do on Christmas Day and the night before? And, and what are the rules here? What do they need to know? OK, um, there are no specific rules, but I like to see children and adults being kind. I would say to children, please be kind to one another, be kind to your grown-ups and grown-ups, be kind to your children, be kind to each other and look at what your children do and be proud of them because they do. I mean, think of your girls. You must be so proud of them. Am I right? Of course. And every grown-up should be proud of their children because being a child, even when you're a grown-up child like yours, but being a child is hard work, isn't it? It's such hard work. Correct, it most certainly is, but it's not as hard work as being Father Christmas, who travels the world in December, distributing gifts and spreading joy and glee and pleasure and happiness and love, of course. Uh, Well, look, it was great to see Father Christmas. You'll be seeing him again on the 25th of December. Uh, thank you so much for that. Oh, brilliant, goodness. brilliant, brilliant. They'd be asleep. Well, well that's it. They, got, oh, they shouldn't that, see me. They should be right, asleep. Right, right. So, so, so <laughs> that is one you rule. Come, by the way, do you, sorry about this. We should get to the break. But do you, the kids, the children need to be in bed on the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. Yes. Do you come on the 25th in the early hours or does it start on the 24th? When do the deliveries begin? It starts once it's dark on the 24th because right. the reindeer are too shy in the daytime right. and it rolls around because of course it goes dark at different times around the world so we right. actually have more than 12 hours I see to so it's sort of twilight hours of the 24th Onwards. into the 25th yeah. and like like hermes do you do like an hour slot or anything like that? <laughs> oh, no. no 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 mother christmas is far better organized than to say you're going to do it in an hour she she does all the logistics to get us exactly the right place at the right time when the children are going to be asleep and when the grown-ups aren't going to be looking for us. 
The wonderful, amazing, <laughs> inspirational Father Christmas. What an absolute joy. Uh, we've got the papers next. How do you follow that? <laughs> 